beautiful and dynamic city-state, Singapore, provides connectivity as an international financial and logistics hub. Now, Singapore has constructed a large integrated resort on reclaimed land in Marina Bay and on Sentosa Island to join the top tier of leading nations around the world. Through this project, Singapore is planning to attract 17 million tourists by 2015 and to earn 30 billion Singapore dollars in revenue from the tourism industry. Furthermore, the Singapore government is also planning to invest 40 billion US dollars exclusively in expanding SOC by year 2020. The construction of the transport infrastructure is to enhance Singapore's national competitiveness and to accelerate the pace of economic development for a better future. The Marina Coastal Expressway is a key element of the land transport infrastructure, which will ease problems of existing traffic congestions in the downtown Marina Bay area, and provides connectivity to the new residential and commercial developments, as well as to the international airport. The construction of the MCE totals to 5 kilometers, from the KPE and ECP in the east to AYE in the west, with the southern Marina Bay reclaimed site in the center. The 10-lane carriageway will be built underground to provide connections to these areas. MCE contract 482 awarded to Sangyong ENC measures only one kilometer in length, with its total value of 627 million US dollars or 820 billion Korean won. It is the largest among all six contracts of the Marina Coastal Expressway. Due to the risks of ground subsidence and floods, and complicated underground structures such as connecting structures to the subways and roads. It is an area that demands the most advanced level of construction and engineering. Furthermore, it is a large civil works project that requires 500,000 cubic meters of concrete and 75,000 tons of reinforced steel, an amount large enough to construct a 25-story apartment with 3,000 households. The bidding process required only those contractors with proven and excellent technology of design and build construction method to undertake both engineering and construction. Sangyong ENC has been designated to carry out the project in recognition of its engineering, design and build expertise that has been optimized for local conditions and its advanced civil engineering technology that passed strict technical reviews. This is a very challenging construction project costing 627,000 US dollars per meter. Through this project, which demands highly advanced technologies and an enormous supply of materials, Sangyong ENC has proven itself to be a masterpiece contractor not only in luxury construction but also in civil engineering. The Marina Bay area is made up of reclaimed land that was created by filling up with sand and the soil profile consists of various stratigraphic formation. 15 meters below the surface is a landfill, which was created by filling up the sea. Underneath the layer of the landfill, there's up to 30 meters of very soft marine clay. Underneath the soft marine clay layer, there is an alluvial layer called the OA layer, which will support the foundation of the construction. To construct the 10-lane dual carriageway and the subway system, 1,300 board piles, which are cast in place piles, must be installed in the OA layer located 50 meters below the ground. Another challenge to overcome is the presence of buried seawalls, which were the shore protection structures installed in an irregular manner at up to 12 meters deep when the reclamation project took place 30 years ago. As such, these seawalls will be a big obstacle for the underground construction. The soft soil in various formation and irregular seawalls to build the 10-lane underground dual carriageway in these conditions, the ground improvement will be the first priority. Firstly, 1,300 pipe piles, which are often used in poor construction, will be installed along the outer line of the road to carry out excavations on the soft, weak ground. Pipe piles, which are 1.4 meters in diameter and 19 millimeters thick, will then be installed 2.5 meters deep, then the OA layer located 50 meters below the ground. The gap between the pipe piles is then filled by grouting, so that ingress of water will be prevented. 250-ton cranes and 25-ton vibro hammers will be used to carry out this part of the construction. 
At the same time, ground improvement materials serve as underground slabs to prevent heaving and deformation of the sides. These will be installed at the site where underground structures are to be built. By injecting 270,000 tons of cement into the soft ground between the depths of 13 to 32.5 meters and blending it with the soft clay layer, a 10 meter thick grouting layer will be created. To improve ground condition, various methods such as the deep cement mixing method, where cement is injected to the soft layers at a depth of 12 meters, and the jet grouting pile method will be applied depending on the conditions of the ground. Board piles will then be installed to ensure the structural safety of the underground structure against uplift force and differential settlement. Firstly, a steel casing will be installed in the upper grouted layer and excavated 80 meters deep. By installing a reinforced steel cage and casting concrete through tremie pipes, board piles will be completed. One thousand three hundred board piles measuring 1.3 to 2 meters in diameter and up to 80 meters in length will be installed along the entire one kilometer area of contract 482. Once the board pile installations are completed, the excavation process and the strutting and shoring work for installing underground structures will be carried out. During braced excavation, double and triple I-beams are constructed to satisfy wall deflection limit of retaining wall. Subsequently, the structures for the subways and the 10-lane dual carriageway will be constructed simultaneously using a top-down method, which can reduce the overall construction duration significantly. Once the backfilling and covering process are completed and the pipe piles are removed, MCE C482 will be successfully completed with highly advanced design and state-of-the-art construction technology. Contract 482 is the most challenging part of the Marina Coastal Expressway. Boasting a maximum width of 140 meters and requiring construction of complex underground structures in a curved area. Zone B of Contract 482 is the most challenging zone in the entire project. In ordinary weak ground, pipe piles are installed along the road and vertical struts are installed to support the slurry wall. However, in Zone B, which consists of atypical excavated surfaces, Struts must be installed according to the direction of the slurry wall and the inclines to effectively control the soil pressure. To control the soil pressure effectively, Songyong ENC has implemented the innovative construction method called a super beam. The super beam is installed in between the slurry walls and struts are installed on both sides of the super beam to effectively distribute the soil pressure throughout the length of the struts. This unique approach has made it possible to stably supply the slurry walls for the excavation to take place. By applying state-of-the-art construction methods and excavating an unprecedented width of 140 meters, Songyong ENC has achieved true value engineering and secured a higher level of safety, cutting down the construction period and lowering raw costs. Songyong ENC was awarded the ASAC Award from the Land Transportation Authority, which is the largest construction safety award in Singapore, as well as the Gold Award and MOM Sharp Award from the Royal Society for the Prevention of Accidents for two years in a row. Songyong ENC's construction site was the industry's first to be awarded the Singapore Health Award, and it is carrying out projects with outstanding safety, environment protection, and health. By constructing the world's most refined hotels, totaling to 13,000 guest rooms and hospitals totaling to 8,000 beds, state-of-the-art office buildings, and exquisite residential facilities, Songyong ENC has built a greater reputation for Korea around the world. Under the belief that they must create a true masterpiece in the field of civil engineering to uphold the reputation earned in luxury buildings, Songyong ENC has built various SOC and large plants around the world. Having written a new page in the history of construction based on highly advanced value engineering, advanced technologies and quality first corporate philosophy, Songyong ENC is continuing its challenge to be the world's number one masterpiece contractor.